Number Utah four. is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. Arizona's a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line. And, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact they can throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and, and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Right down around the 40-yard line. What a relief it is for a quarterback to know that he's got a receiver like this who can step up when he needs him on third down. Makes it out to about the 49. That makes it second and two. his receiver and that's a first down and he's taken down at the 45 yard line gain of six on the pass and that's good for a first down heads up play by the quarterback to find his receiver in traffic and get the ball into his hands and he's tackled at about the 35 call it a gain of 10 yards first from the 35 yard line first down And he's tackled after positive yardage. Five yards there for the quarterback. That makes it second and six. He's tackled at the 28 yard line. around the 13-yard line. He showed you right there why a defense can never lose tabs on him. Take your eye off him in coverage, and he'll create a big play. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Gaining four yards. That brings him second and five. Again with the run, and they'll bring him down behind the line. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it, and the holes will start to open up. We're at the 12th play of the drive. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Normally, you look for the pass in those kinds of situations. But a very alert play stopped that run short of the sticks. So it's fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. Arizona is looking to go up by three. And it sails through the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Well, this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. They bring him down in the backfield. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 23-yard line, second down. I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Hands off to the left, and they wrestle him down behind the line. Oh, the loss is two yards on the play. That'll make, make it fourth and 14. Four 
He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Tackle at the 45. The quarterback leads his squad back out. They got three on their last possession. Arizona is up by three. Makes it to the 47. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Up the middle for a nice game. That makes it first and ten. And he hits him hard at the 38 yard line. So the option keeper goes for about a yard. He gets rid of this one. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. It's up, and he just drilled it from long range. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And they get nice yardage on that one. receiver I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers but he's got to know when not to throw the ball he didn't have any room at all and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted from their own 41 yard line it's second down and he is drilled at the 35 that'll bring up third and long Excellent punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. The Wildcats in front by six. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Arizona up six. And down he goes at the 29-yard line. Down, 
Graham. He's taken down around the 35-yard line. That's a game of six on the play. First down. And they push him out right around the 36-yard line. That makes it second and eight. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. When they broke the huddle, I'm sure everybody knew the ball was going to go to this receiver. And he still brought it in to give this team a big lift. They come out on an empty backfield. And he's tackled right away. Complete. That's good for a game of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Tackle made at the 25-yard line. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. They'll spread the field with five wide. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. He hits the PAT. A nine play, 79 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven on seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and receiver. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Fires that quickly incomplete. Second and 10. Ball on their own 25. Scrambling. Brought down at about the 29 yard line. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Quick pass, and he's taken down around the 45 yard line. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. Ouch. Pretty big loss on the play, and I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen, maybe hit the tight end on a short pattern. This D-line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. Second and 15. Ball on their own 41. He's at midfield. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. it to the 31. Out of bounds right around the 18-yard line. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Inside the 10. What a play, and that is first and goal. And the tailback broke that one for a very nice game. Give the offensive line some kudos there. They blocked very well up front to create the holes for this back. Nice run there. Touchdown, Utes.
he tacks on the extra point. A nice 10 play, 74 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. So the score now, 13 7. Utah lines up for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Wildcats offense normally predicated with the ground game, but today it's the passing game that's working it's for been, It's been a big surprise, Brad. I mean, we all expected to see this star running back have a big game, but it's been nice to see the versatility of this offense and see this passing game step up. Makes it out to about the 40. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. Arizona with a six-point lead. Throws and it's incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40. It's on the ground. It's picked up by the offense. He's at the 30 to the 20. The 10. Touchdown, Wildcats. And he adds the extra point. So a short three-play, 75-yard drive. And the result, seven points. The score now, 20 to 7. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Boy, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. Quick throw out to the receiver. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. around the 48-yard line. Five wide. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. Number two was the intended receiver on the play. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Mike Sick, 33. 33. Let's go. Here's a throw, and it's almost picked. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment and a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Tackle right around the 48-yard line. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. And this one is a beauty. This one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. He's out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's tackled the 39-yard line. Quick strike to the receiver. Shot at the pick. 
Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. From the 40-yard line, second down. The junior makes the catch. Arizona's going to have to use their second time out of the half. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. They'll bring him down right around the 12 yard line. Number seven with the tackle at the 12 yard line. That makes it first and 10. And he's leveled at the four yard line. Number 18 on the tackle at the four yard line. That makes it second and two. He's knocked out of bounds around the two-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. converts the extra point. Arizona is lining up to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. makes it out to about the 27-yard line. They don't have enough time to play dink and dunk football like this. They need to move the ball and do it quickly. From their own 27-yard line, second down. And that'll do it for the first half. Still plenty of football to be played. 27-7, Wildcats. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action, just about ready to start here. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Wildcats continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. quickly and he's got his man and they make the stop right around the 28 yard line you know at that point I think Brad the quarterbacks are just better off just taking a sack you have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball if you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. And a quick throw. And down he goes. Around the 36-yard line. Gets out to around the 48. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. It's second and 10. Ball on the 48-yard line. He scrambled. He's taken down at the 49. That's a Third down. The ball is loose. 
Scoops it up. So after the mishap, we've got first down going the other way. Often you'll see this from a playmaker. He tried to do a little bit extra and ended up losing the ball. It's a nice play by the defense to recover that ball. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Throws it deep. Keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. That makes it first and goal. There's another. No need to pitch it as the quarterback's able to run it in. I'll tell you what, when you're a quarterback and the goal line is right there, it's pretty hard to pitch the ball when you think you can get in. That's a smart decision to keep it for the score. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Utah's getting stopped right now. They're unable to get anything going here in the third quarter. Well, I think what they have to do at this point is they've got to get into a little bit more of a hurry-up mode, a little bit more urgency, score, and hope that the defense can come up with a stop and hope you can get the ball back and put more points up. That's a great tackle at the 17. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Three down, three down. Mike, check, 33. 33. Aaron and out long. This one is batted away. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. And that brings up. Stopped by the defense. They played with tremendous character on those downs. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. Booming kick. You're always looking for the home run the big highlight. But he still got him a couple yards. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense ball very well with their passing game. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to get a blitz look, get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 32. They come out in an empty backfield. Brought down around the 38-yard line. A good look and pass that time. Well, here they do a nice job of getting a speedy receiver. And he showed not only can turn on the Jets, but pretty decent hands as well. He's at the 30. Arizona is winning big. Throws it in a hurry. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That makes it first and goal. They come out at a five wide set. Taken down at the seventh. That brings him second and goal. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Finds the man. Touchdown. 
like how the quarterback, the offensive line, and the receivers made a concerted effort to get into the end zone. He splits the ice with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all. goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. And he's tackled right around the 38-yard line. Yard line. Second down. And he's got the junior. He's at midfield, and he hits him hard. The 48-yard line. Tackle at about the 29-yard line. Four-yard line. Complete across the middle. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. Touchdown, Utes! So he punches it into the end zone for the second time today. The defense has to come out and make a stop on the next drive so this offense can get to work again. They aren't out of this game yet. And he hits the PAT. An eight-play, 75-yard drive, and they put up seven points. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Wildcats had that hot hand on offense, and they just keep on going here in quarter number three. The greatest thing you could say about these guys today is consistency. They are moving the football and putting points up on the board. They're going to be tough to beat. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. And he stopped behind the line. The lineman had a big push there to get in the backfield and bring him down. And once he gets moving, there's no stopping him. This guy is so big and strong that he's almost impossible to block with one guy. From their own 28-yard line, third down. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. He looks pretty cool back there. Even with linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. Arizona up big. Two yard loss for the halfback. From their own 40 yard line, it's second down. He's at midfield. 
He gets hit out of bounds around the 40 yard line. That's good for him. First down. Four down, four down. Mike Seven. Mike Seven. Ouch. Pretty big loss on the play, and I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen. Maybe hit the tight end on a short pattern. This D line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. Second and 14. Ball on the 44 yard line. Slings it. He's tackled around the 39 yard line. That's a game of five on the way. That'll make it 39. Stepping up. Not much of a contest here as we head into the final stanza. Arizona's got a huge lead. Not sure there's any hope for a comeback here in the fourth quarter, but Kirk and I are praying. This is to add to an already impressive lead. He gets it up, and it's good! They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Early in the fourth quarter, and this one we know is over. It's an opportunity for some subs to play on one side and maybe to play for pride on the other. Scrambling around. They'll bring him down around the 28-yard line. That'll make it second to seven. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. And they make the stop at about the 39-yard line. Five wide. Quick out to his receiver. Throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Number nine was the intended receiver on the play. From the 26 yard line, second down. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. No, coming after you. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. And down he goes, right around the two yard line. Him down in the backfield. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking schemes. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. So the offense stays on the field here. It's fourth and goal from the four. He's hit and taken down. They had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. 
The offense just wasn't able to make a play. The defense was really clutch right there. The offense ready to go again. And their last drive ended with three points. They just seemed like they'd been in the end zone time and time again. There's not much negative you can say about this performance. Setting up play action. Zips it to the tight end. He's pushed out of bounds around the 17-yard line. First down. From their own 17-yard line, it's first down. Just under three to go in regulation. Down. Yellow 87. He takes that right side for a good game. That's a good game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. to get the first down here on third down. This game, quite frankly, has been over for a long time, and I'm ready for it to end. And this one is a beauty. He's taken down at the 30. So he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. Late in the fourth quarter, this game's not even close. It's a blowout. A lot of folks have already gone home. And, Herbie, I think we're going to make our dinner reservation. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. The Utes will use their first time out of the half. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Under a minute left. Gets it out. He's met immediately. Loss of five there. That play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's taken down right around midfield. Brings up second, second and 13. 13. From their own 47 yard line. Second down. Three down, three down. Mike six, 33. 33. He lost the ball. The offense scoops it. Nice run, and he's brought down. down and they need to get it inside the 40. Three down, three down. In the shotgun and five wide outs. <laughs> wide open and he just drops it. Number two was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and ten. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. He really got a hold of that one. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. You just hope that a game this uneven ends quietly. We don't want to see anything nasty and pointless at the end. Arizona comes to the line, holding that commanding lead. 
Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. This one was never close today. Arizona 44, Utah 14. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.